Okay, our story for today is Bugville Bridge. Long ago, a few brave insects from the town of Bugville flew to a distant land they called Harvest Hill. There they found great giant helpings of the finest flavored foods. There was enough food in Harvest Hill to keep all the bugs in Bugville full for many, many years. And there was nothing stopping the insects from carrying a few tasty morsels bit by bit back to Bugville. The bugs had so much food that they decided to build a long bridge out of the leftovers. That way, the crawling bugs could get to Harvest Hill too. The insects built their special bridge in a hurry. Before long, they were making the trip to Harvest Hill every day. The bugs brought back loads of yummy treats and everyone in Bugville was happy for a great long while. Bugville became the jolliest place around. The bugs had banana festivals every Tuesday and chocolate carnivals three times a week. Every bug in Bugville ate 10 meals a day and many of them took naps in between meals. Soon, the worker bees were the only ones who made the long journey to Harvest Hill. The plump little bees would cross Bugville Bridge each day and bring back enough food for everybody. But then the worker bees got lazy too. I'm hungry, Benny Bee said one day as they crossed the bridge. Let's stop for a snack. Benny and Bessie B nibbled on the licorice that held the bridge together. There's plenty of food in our bridge, Benny said. Let's bring back some cheese, too. Just then, Gus Grasshopper walked by. This might be a problem, Gus said to himself. Gus was right. The other bugs soon found out the bridge was a good place to have a snack, too. They took a little nibble here and a little munch there, but no one thought to put any food back into the bridge. Before too long, the bridge crumbled down. Ladybug, the queen of Bugville, called for Gus. His great-great-grandfather had helped to build Bugville Bridge so many years ago. Ladybug brought out the old plans and handed them over to him. You'll lead the crew to build a new bridge to Harvest Hill, she told Gus. All of Bugville is counting on you. We'll need carrots and celery and pretzels and cheese, Gus said. Bugville Bridge will be better than ever if we all lend a hand. With Ladybug's help, Gus Grasshopper spread the word around town. Everyone would help build the new bridge. Every bug in Bugville had a job to do. The beetles and the caterpillars spent the whole day digging, while the dragonflies brought the longest, crispiest celery stalks back from Harvest Hill. Ladybug was very pleased. She had never seen so much activity in Bugville. I just saw Daddy Longlegs get up from his rocker for the first time in ages, she giggled to Gus. What's more, Ladybug was pleasantly surprised to see all the insects working together. The mosquitoes are getting along with the moths, she told Gus, and the termites are helping the earwigs. A little later, Gus Grasshopper asked the locust to sound the lunch bell. He told everyone to take a break, but the busy bugs were too excited to stop. We'll eat later, the busy bug said. All of Bugville's counting on us. The butterflies, who usually just flew from flower to flower, asked what they could do. We need your big wings and gentle touch to carry our carrots, Gus said. We won't let you down, the butterflies promised. After only a few days, the new Bugville Bridge was coming along splendidly. 
the bumblebees knew where to find the sweetest red licorice and chocolate-covered pretzels in Harvest Hill. The centipedes all got together to carry the licorice and pretzels back. They chugged along swiftly in line like an express train headed for Bugville. The ants were in charge of the pickle chips. They found the picnic grounds in Harvest Hill without a problem, and no one had to tell the ants how to get a whole lot of food from one place to another. At last, the new Bugville Bridge was finished. Hurrah, the bugs of Bugville buzzed. Gus Grasshopper and Ladybug beamed with pride too. The bridge looks great, cheered Gus Grasshopper. It looks good enough to eat, Ladybug joked, but they all knew better than that. This new bridge really was better than the last one. It was tall and strong and built to last. And best of all, the bugs of Bugville did it together. The end.